Right, so that was just a few shots of me on my Chinese mini lathe making up this um, simple adapter out of a piece of scrap aluminium bar. And this is to fit this infrared floodlight that I've just bought. And these units are absolutely excellent quality. They're all metal construction and waterproof to IP66. They're originally designed for going alongside um, surveillance cameras uh, like you would have on the outside of a house or a garage or whatever. And I've actually bought several of these to go alongside my surveillance cameras. Um, they make it absolutely like daylight at night time. They're fully automatic, uh, so they come on after dark. And like I say, they completely enhance the lighting for any security camera. And another thing I like about them is that they are already wired up with this 5.5 um, female jack socket. So you can plug in an adapter and it's only 12 volts. So it's low voltage and completely safe. And they're extremely low cost to buy. You don't get an adapter with them, but those are very low cost as well and easy to get hold of. But because it's 12 volt, I thought it'd make up a really excellent portable infrared floodlight. So the unit also has this nice steel bracket and it's quite a thick steel bracket. So it's nice and sturdy and it takes a six millimeter bolt. And I cut that stainless steel bolt so I can actually push it down in between um, while the bracket's on to save taking it off. And that one drops into that hole then. And then my six millimeter end of the adapter screws onto that one. and tightens up nicely and then with the quarter UNC end of the adapter it can actually be mounted on most tripods this is just a tabletop one for example obviously you use a big one out in the field or you could just use a simple monopod like this extend it and then stick it into the ground And then to power it up and make it completely portable, I bought this lithium iron uh, 12 volt battery pack, an excellent piece of kit. It comes with a charger and that's the charging socket. And then there's the 5.5 jack socket, which will plug directly into that um, unit. The battery pack also has an on off switch built on the side there with a small red LED to say that it's on or to show that it's on and the infrared light has a viewing beam of 60 degrees and a viewing distance of 50 meters and when I use the portable infrared floodlight out in the field on the tripod I can completely waterproof this battery pack with um, a plastic bag seal it in a plastic bag and then I can drop it into this um, camera case here. This is a um, neoprene camera case, fits in it nicely. Pull up the cord and then hang it on the side of the tripod. So it's an excellent low cost piece of equipment, a nice little project to make up and has many different uses.